Police received a call about someone being armed with a weapon around 12.36 a.m. local time. Upon arriving at the scene, law enforcement found stay with multiple stab wounds. The Nova Scotia native was transported to a nearby hospital, where he later died. I won't be around when you're 96, unfortunately. I'll be, uh, I'll be in heaven with my mom. And he goes, but I'll just, I just, I'll just hold on to you when you die, just so I can go with you to heaven. Because I don't, I don't want you, I don't want you to go without me. I was just like, man. Shock and sadness in the music world tonight after an early morning homicide in Halifax. Regional police say they were called downtown early this morning where they found a badly injured man who'd been stabbed. He later died in hospital and has since been identified as a popular rap artist. CTV's Hafsa Arif has our top story. Even 10 hours after the fact, police were still collecting evidence from the busy street near the harbour. Witnesses say it all happened so fast. I saw some guy on the dance floor get stabbed and there was just blood everywhere and lots of chaos and the police came right away and uh, the area was blocked off like you see behind me. The car's right over there so we were going down and uh, we rounded the corner before the, the tape was up and we just seen a guy laying on the ground. Um, didn't seem to be moving very much and then cops started flying down the street. The incident unfolded in a nightclub called the Yacht Club Social, still part of the crime scene Sunday. We're walking out the front door of the Yacht Club Social here and uh, we got pushed and uh, we look and there's blood all over our clothes and uh, it was a terrible, very traumatic experience. You get ignorant, bro. I turned the game to a scrimmage. Let's give them a show. Shock turned to sadness when word spread the victim was well-known rapper Pat's Day. Originally from Dartmouth, the Nova Scotian was known for his battle raps. His talent increasingly praised by others, including well-established musicians. News of his death sending shockwaves around the world and lighting up social media. I was shocked. Some local music fans even made their way to Waterfront to pay their respects. I was like, it, literally, it was, it was like, you know, hearing like your friend pass away kind of thing, you know, growing up and, you know, just watching like from when I was like 12 years old and to now, like and I'm 28 and just even just watching his progressions as he went through Toronto and all over the world. Police say Stay was rushed to hospital but later died of his injuries. A GoFundMe page set up to help the family with expenses had topped $36,000 just after 4 p.m. Friends say that's not surprising. Beyond his talents, Day is being remembered for kindness and generosity. Are still investigating this crime scene at the moment and are urging the public with any information.